managerial accounting. We're talking about job order costing, in particular problem P6. And we are on the 22nd of September. And it says we paid, meaning we credited cash, for the following overhead costs. Utilities are 42000 Oh, excuse me, 4270 maintenance is 3380 and rent is 3250 Now, all of these have to do with the product. So instead of debiting expenses, we're going to be debiting overhead because these are actual product-related costs. So on the 22nd, we're going to total up all of those costs and we're going to debit overhead for 10,900, the sum of them. And it said we paid, so that means we credit cash. So on the 22nd, we're going to credit cash 10,900. So again, when we purchase uh, product-related items that are not direct materials and not direct labor, they're debited to overhead and credited to cash. On the 23rd, we recorded the purchase on account and receipt of $31,940 of direct materials and $9,260 of indirect. So what did we buy there? We bought materials on account. So that would show up in the material inventory account. So on the 23rd, Um, shall we break it down? Sure, why not? So on the 23rd, let us debit $31,940 for direct materials. And also on the 23rd, let's debit material in inventory for the indirects. And those came to Okay, we got dangling debits. What are we going to do? We're going to find our credit, and we bought it on account. So that means we're going to credit accounts payable on the 23rd for the total of the materials we purchased. And that happens to be $41,200. So that's the 23rd. On the 27th, we requested or requisitioned direct materials for job A, job B, and job C, and also some indirect materials. Now, when we request or requisition, they enter the production process, which means they're going to leave material inventory and go either into work in process or, if they're indirect, into overhead. So let's see what that entry would be on the 27th. Well, on the 27th, I'm going to credit material inventory for 36510 And that includes all the materials for job A, B, and C, as well as the indirects. And I'm going to debit on the 27th, work in process, and, um, oops, that's job A. And so let's see how much that would be. For job A, that's going to be um, $26.60. For job B, it's going to be uh, $8,400. And for job C, it's going to be uh, $17,810. Am I done yet? No, that's just some of my debits. I also have to, what, debit overhead for the amount of the indirect materials. And the indirect materials on the 27th was $76.40. So notice I'm debiting overhead, debiting work in process for the direct and indirect materials, and crediting material inventory.